Let's find out what's happening. Ladies first. That means you guys. You guys were the ladies. It was a joke. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive. And welcome back. This is another episode of uh, Dreamfall Chapters. I'm here, living in the past. Uh, I've been slightly confused because I'm supposed to find a puppeteer who is the wizard that I myself defeated as April Ryan in the year 2000 in real world like me it was actually in the year 2000 that I played this game the first part and I defeated that wizard and I had no memory of him until they actually reminded me of him right now uh, well right then I guess what's here no that's nothing I'm not sure if I'm If I'm in the right place, because there doesn't seem to be any puppeteer shows. There's supposed to be a square of some sort. So. Where is the square? Um, there isn't really any squares. This is the uh, the oven, the the thing, the main two temple square and the white tower. To Ohio, Friars Keep. So, I assume I cannot go in there, right? I don't know how I'll have everything oh, ready. I remember this gate. It leads up to the big tower. Why is it closed? Maybe it has something to do with this reaping thing. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Goals. Find the fingerlings. The fingerlings? I know, but is that what we really want from those peasants? Is that really what I want? To find the fingerlings? I felt like I'm I'm not I'm just not sure if that's the same guy anymore. Oh, this is open. Let's see if there is some place like what is this place I don't know have I been here at all Supposed to make everything more efficient right just more efficient in general you must be from out of town here for the well efficient life I don't know Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna run around a little bit because uh, there is nothing that he was supposed to. I I didn't listen. Probably, it was probably clearly stated where he's going to be, and I didn't pay enough attention to know. I mean, the festival seems to be seems to be spread across the entire town. What is this? Ah, I feel like I'm remembering. Oh, that tree just yeah, that tree just shifted twice now. I'm going to be to have to actually probably replay. The previous two games now. It's connected to the pipes. Looks steamy, Which punky, very retro future. I'm not happy about. I mean, I'm happy about it because to guess what they're for. Love these games, but I wish I had done it in a different order. I wish I have reminded myself all of that. Although I, I do kind of enjoy this feeling of not remembering stuff because this is exactly, you know, the characters here also don't remember stuff very well. I, so it, it's relatable. I wonder if that's actually on purpose, given how much time has passed since, like, between the uh, the parts of this game. I have to say, I'll be relieved when they're finally done with all this construction work. I think I'm, yeah, I'm back to journey, man. At this point, 
Hi, journeyman. And this is High Hall. Road to High Hall. High Hall. High Hall. High Hall. Wait. That's a very weird looking combination of buildings. Okay, I feel like I'm just... No, I probably haven't done anything with my tour around town. Although... Well, it's a nice town. So there is that. The old town has been destroyed. So that's terrible. I wonder if that's... It's actually I'm coming up on the old town soon. Oh yeah! There we go! That's what I'm looking for. This is, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> Hi. Roper claps, I presume. He looks wizardly, as in how I expect. Is that fingerlings? Nope. Wizards to look when I was ten. Well, I was ten. <laughs> Funnily enough. If you seek an autograph, you must purchase yeah, my book that's first. The guy. It's on sale today. Only... No, sorry. I I need to talk to you. That's talk. the guy. Mm -hmm. I remember his face. Wow. Well, I, I only have a mic. few minutes before my show begins, but I'm sure I can spare a couple of them for a pretty young thing like you. It's an odd name for a children's puppet show. This has to be the right man. Yeah. Didn't he in April have Let's some... Do you remember April that. Ryan? April Ryan? Oh, yes, of course. Absolutely. Certainly. Naturally. The bit... <clears throat> The brave young woman who came to my castle and stole it and helped me put my sorceress past behind me. Well, he's clearly I fond of her. Possibly forget. That's probably wasn't. He's obviously got some issues with April. Yeah. So, about April. Why, why does everyone want to talk about April Ryan? She was just a weak little human who stumbled onto things she didn't do. <coughs> no, 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 I must <laughs> apologize. You see, April and I had some disagreements in the past. I'm past that now. I'm a different person. <laughs> As for April Ryan... Yeah, yeah, she suffered an ignoble death at the hands of our Azadi benefactors. What a shame. What a terrible, terrible shame. <laughs> this... You are Roper Clax, right? The wizard? Who told you that? Well, that sign, for one. No, the... The wizard part. Who told you? I mean, uh, I'm merely a humble finger puppeteer trying to make an honest living in a cold and heartless world. <laughs> but you were a wizard once. Fully rehabilitated, I don't go anywhere near sorcery, not any... You should really yep. read my highly acclaimed and best-selling memoir, A Farewell to My Wizarding Ways. <laughs> It's a thrilling story of redemption and romance, of dashing heroes and wicked villainesses, of flying castles and curious calculating devices. Every word of it as true as the night is dark and the day is bright, of course. Yep. I might as well get right to soul stone. Do you recall owning a soul stone? A soul stone? I, I, th I think the last time... I checked. It was on Titan. No, not in Titan. About. Wait. I was, was just the... wondering, since there are so many impressive well, Thanos tales about has your powers anyway. where I come from. And where would that be? Um. That was a long time ago. In another life, I've moved on. I'm a different person now. It... I was just wondering what happened to the stone. She took it. That bitch. Balance? Pardon me? I don't know where that came from. Who? The Yaga. 
The wicked witch of the north, as these simpletons call her. As if they have any idea who and what she truly is. She lurks in Riverwood in the dark places she feeds on that stone like a... <laughs> like I said, that's in the past, and I... Yep. Now, I make an honest living bringing joy to children through my most excellent and revolutionary finger puppet theater. And on that note, I must beg your pardon, your... Can we please talk again afterward? Uh, sure, 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 absolutely. Toodaloo! Okay, I guess uh, I'm yes, gonna... here we go. I'm gonna stand, stand this is look. gonna be so good. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, humans and... Well, humans. And you, Azadi soldier standing over there, you're welcome to watch. Just don't rattle your sabers or rustle your suits. Uh, welcome to this morning's performance of... The Fingerlings! Uh, I am your host and puppeteer, Rupa Klax, esteemed thespian and raconteur, author and entrepreneur. My book is available for purchase with a free, personalized dedication. Speak to me after the show. A donation is both appreciated and expected. Drop your coins into the box after the show. Remember that every iron piece goes towards a good purpose. Woohoo! Go fingerlings! My beloved fingerlings! Handcrafted reproductions of renowned actors from across Arcadia, immortalized in finger puppet form by skilled artisans. Using only the finest fabrics and natural materials, these lovely creatures are as dear to me as children and as talented and protean as the finest human players. You're all welcome to approach the stage after the show, of course, to admire my finely crafted miniatures up close and intimately. No food, no touching, no children. And now, beloved audience, prepare yourselves for a journey into mystery for a true story of wizardry and magic. I present to you the tale of the good-hearted wizard and the villainous Oh, this is going to be an April Ryan story. Once upon a time in the distant north. There lived a kindly this old exactly wizard in a wonderful like. flying castle. This very friendly wizard liked to tease and toy with the people of the land, and sometimes he would do silly things like uh, turn them into stone or furry animals and bottle up the wind. <laughs> Naturally, he meant no harm, and the people of the land love the wizard like they would a grandfather, a very young and very, very handsome grandfather. But one day, an evil sorceress from a distant land came to visit the kindly wizard. This ugly, selfish witch didn't understand that the wizard was only trying to make people happy. She used her dark sorcery to steal all of his possessions and trap him inside a tiny little box where the gentle wizard was barely able to breathe. The poor old man was trapped for many moons inside this box before a benevolent wandering god arrived to free him from his prison. The wizard pledged eternal allegiance to the wandering god in return for vengeance against the cruel witch who trapped him. Together they... There he is, Commander. The dangerous loon who's corrupting our youth with his occult finger rings. No! Oh. What? What's this? What? What are you doing? What's going on? You can't... No, hey. yeah, no, no. I was hey, too, too, too stuck to him. You're teaching children of magic, old man. Ah, oh, shit. You ought to know better. Release me, you dishonorable brute. By the authority vested in me by the Greater Azadi Empire and the Emissary. And in accordance with provisional imperial law prohibiting any... Yep. You can't do this! 
You don't know who I am! Tell it to the magistrate, wizard. My fingerlings! My precious handcrafted fingerlings! No! Well, that's depressing. I cannot believe that they arrested him. What a travesty. I didn't see that coming. No, I did not. I guess the Azadi aren't fans of creepy puppet shows either. I think it had more to do with him being a wizard. Okay, shit. So what now? He was my only lead to the Soul Stone. All I have to go on is something about a Yaga and Riverwood. You have to find... Riverwood? I know Riverwood. I've been to Riverwood. If it's Riverwood you need, I know how to get to Riverwood. Ooh. Really? And the Yaga? The Wicker Witch? I don't know anything about Yagas, but I do know something about witches in Riverwood. On my last trip there, we had a close encounter with one of them. That witch is toast, of course, but I can probably find my way back to Riverwood. It's north. We go north. Wait, which way is up? Yeah, north. <laughs> which way is up? Okay. Yep. Uh, okay. That's something, right? Much better than nothing. This guy looks we like the boy. We just need a way to get north that doesn't involve killed. me walking all the way. Well, we or got him killed. I'm not flying all that way. I tire easily. Wait. I feel a cunning plan coming on. Uh oh. It's either a cunning plan, or I need the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it's a cunning plan. Go go. Okay. Loading game. I still can't believe you pulled off the voice and the whole fake hand thing. The hat looked great on you. Oh, totally. Uh, not so sure about the beard, though. My face is itchy. Speaking of faces, I can never show mine in Mercuria again. No! That last and you didn't thing. show this thing! If everything goes well, you won't have to. At least we have a ride. Can I trust this thing? They're docile cows, the Elguan. Just leave it to me. Mush, Daisy! Mush! Whoa, whoa, I think you're upsetting her. I love. I'll leave the cowgirling to you. I'll fly ahead and scout the terrain instead. Don't lose sight of me! Well, how am I supposed to... catch up? Is it the end of the chapter again? Oh well, probably. That's us as Kian Alvani on the airship that we've boarded and left our blue aggressive friend behind. Oh, that's it. That's the entirety of this little incursion. Sure. We got the save game. Whoa, why is this chapter so purple? I don't like this, because I feel like it means that it's the final chapter or something. And I don't... This doesn't feel like it would be a final chapter, we'll... Like, way the way, until it's setting up for another sequel. Which, I don't know if I'm gonna be alive when the next sequel arrives. With the tempo that they have. Crap. Now it got me worried. Oh! And you're dead. No, you're fine. Okay. Oh, well, fuck. Oh, I mean, that hurt. <laughs> Never trust an Elguan. Cowardly cows. Oh, something must have spooked it. What do we do now? This place looks familiar. I think we're close. In fact, I think we're... Leave! Oh, Go. yeah. Moles. Whoa. Bandu. Hey there, I'm I'm friendly and and unarmed. Banda. You're human. You can't be fr Bird? Crowbird? Hello. Hey, you're that fretful furry thing we met the first time we came through here. Ben Franklin. Ben Franklin. Ben Bandu. This isn't the same no. human who accompanied you last time. Well, Ben. This yeah. is my new human. She's mostly harmless. <laughs> you human. Say hello, Zoe. Don't be rude. I remembered Bandu. 
We don't have to I guess we don't have time to chat with the locals. No no no. We're let's hello. let's say hello. Hello. Are you the new Bandu and Bata? Bamboo. What? <laughs> Bamboo. No, I have no idea. I'm Zoe. You're a dreamer. So they keep saying. I'm not very good at it. How did you know? We live close to the dreaming here. Her dreams surround us. The Yaga. That's it! That's the one we're looking for, right, Zoe? The Yaga! You're... you're looking for the Yaga? Are, on purpose? Are you mad? Oh, I'm not. Her? I'm not so sure about. <laughs> you know the Yaga? She lives in this forest. We do not speak her name. She's... she's mean. Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yaga. Teddy Bear? We need to find her right now, but we can't bring Furball with us. We'll save time if we ask the Ewok to show <laughs> us the way to the Yaga. <laughs> Teddy Bear probably knows more about the Yeah, let's Who is she? speak more about her. Yaga? She's old. Really old. She's been around since long before my people came to this forest. Once, she had many servants. Witches, warlocks, evil ones. Like in the stories told by the elders. But her servants are all gone now. So she woke up and crossed into our world. She doesn't belong here. But she's lonely Aww. and hungry. Ooh. Hungry. Great. Well, we still have to find her. She has the Soul Stone. The Soul Stone? I've heard of the Soul Stone. The Yaga took it from the fallen fortress of her warlock. Warlock? Roper Clax worked for the Yaga? They all did. The Gribbler, Clax, all the evil witches and warlocks of the Northlands. But they're gone now. Just like my people. April Ryan imprisoned the warlock and killed the witch. She saved us all, but then, then the Azadi came with sharp blades and metal tubes that spewed fire. They murdered most of us. Some fled east. I'm the only one left here now. That's terrible. Well, what, so what are sorry. you doing here? Then? One day they'll come back. All the surviving. Well, where is the mall? Until then, I watch over their burrows, and I sing. For them, for all of us, this soul stone, it's important? Very. You'll use it to fight the Azadi? That's part of it, yes. I'll take you to the Yaga. Or as close as I dare go to her lair anyway. Great! I was expecting you to say no, and by expecting, I mean hoping. Does the bird always speak like that? Yeah. I'm afraid so. Lead the way, Ben. Okay. This strikes all the familiar strings in my brain. <laughs> I even remember this guy. Okay, I'm hoping for a... The Yaga's beyond the ridge. Once you cross that... You're in her realm. You're not coming with? Did you not hear me when I said she was hungry? No, I'm not coming with you. The walls of that place are thin, and she can smell my magic. A wise decision, tiny man. Come on, Zoe, let's turn around and head back with Ben Ben. Maybe catch a fat squirrel and roast it for dinner? This is what we came here for. If we don't get the soul stone... Everyone dies, the world ends, no more Christmases, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sick of walking into one perilous scenario after the other. After we're done with this one, no more adventures. I swear to the feather gods of old. You'll know you're there when you see the Gribbler's old house. She was the witch who lived here before. The Gribbler served the Yaga, and that's where she came through. From the beyond. Will you wait for us, Ben? I'll wait until nightfall. But if you're not back by then, we'll be back. And I had such a craving for crispy squirrel. Okay, yes. Uh so that's gonna be it for this episode. And 
what awaits me in the lair of the Yaga? And if is the friendly Ben Bantu, Bandu is going to be eaten? We don't know. There's a bridge. I don't know where the crow went. The crow just disappeared on me. Uh, but yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Fallout.